December the 10th is our holiday uh, supper or dinner, I guess. What's the, what's the difference? I come to South Carolina and I, my vocabulary gets all messed up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in, in Colorado it's dinner over here, so. Or is it the other way around? <laughs> supper, dinner, dinner. Yeah. What happened to lunch? <laughs> That's supper. Dinner? Dinner. <laughs> hey, there it is. See? What happened to the second breakfast? What happened to brunch? Exactly. <laughs> what about snacks? No. Snacks, yeah. yeah. Snacks in between. Anyway, December 10th, uh, we're going to be having a dinner. Uh, the next Sunday, we're going to be having a uh, special guest come. In fact, his name is uh, James Love. Love him. I wish I had a name like that. Love Camp. <laughs> it's Camp where love is. Right? Anyway, him and his wife are coming in on December 17th. And they're, they're opening up a ministry in, in Greer that is focusing in on couples. Okay? Uh, not just married couples, but couples that are looking towards that inevitable uh, connection. You know, there's... Uh, how many of you guys know that as couples we need to learn, hmm. right? Uh, we really do. There's a there's an awful lot about relationships that we struggle with, and once we get married, well, when we're in that process of you know going through the dating scene and and you know proposing and getting engaged, man, that that's the best time of history, isn't it? I mean, that's when all the girls get all the candy and all the flowers, and that's when all the guys are broke because they have to spend all that money. <laughs> but they like yeah. it. They want to spend, right? They want to yeah. spend. Yeah. They're happy all the time. They're going out, they're calling on the phone for four or five hours. You know? But then when you guys get married, things change. You don't bring me flowers. No more. <laughs> you don't Why? sing no songs. <laughs> you hardly talk to me anymore. Just go out the door at the end of the day. You guys remember the song. Things have got to change. Okay? But it doesn't mean that uh, the romance and everything and, the, and that love aspect should leave. Okay? It's just the remember, love is not a feeling. I know that you guys have that emotional connection, but uh, I don't want that emotional connection to keep you, because it won't last long. Because as soon as those emotions are gone, everything else kind of falls by the wayside. <clears throat> so love can't be based on emotions. Because it says in 1 Corinthians 13 that love doesn't fail. Right? So how can love continue? I think that's uh, a lot of the reason why James and his wife uh, want to come is to give you that insight on what love is, okay? So they're going to be here December 17th, and I think that's going to be a, a good time because we're almost there to Christmas. It's almost my wife and I's anniversary. Whoa. See, so it's going to be the round point for me. Yes! <laughs> 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 and I might get something out of it. Amen? Right. <laughs> and Lord knows I need something. <laughs> no. You guys ain't supposed to be laughing. You know she I hear you, Mike. You can't stop back there, can you? Nope. <laughs> get out of the box. <laughs> Turn to Ephesians. We're going 
going to continue our study on the media. What is dominion? What did we learn on Wednesday? What is dominion? Okay? Exerting itself in a jurisdiction. So, <clears throat> when we're talking about dominion, we're talking about aspects of control. We're, at, we're talking about aspects of authority. Okay? Not everyone has complete 100% jurisdiction and authority over everything, except for one person. Who is that? God. God. And we're going to Amen. talk about God. There is a difference between uh, omni... omnipotent and supernatural power. Okay? There's a difference between omnipotent and supernatural power. Okay? Which we actually remember it says in the word that we don't fight against flesh and blood. So we're not actually coming up against natural powers. These things are supernatural powers that have influence over us, okay? They have influence over the natural world that we live in, whether it's human beings, whether it's nature, and, and that's the whole thing about domination and having dominion. Uh, you either have control over a certain area or you have control over a certain jurisdiction, okay? Or, or uh, whatever that entails. Okay? And, and we're going to talk about these things. But I need two volunteers. I need one strong person and one person that thinks he's strong. Yeah, he... It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> two perfect examples. <laughs> We're going to do an arm wrestling match today. Yes! And we're going to find out who's going to have dominion. Yes! Now, who, who do you think is going to win? Don't say anything. I know, I know. Who do you think is going to win? I ain't going to say nothing. Over this arm wrestling match. Yes! Who wants dominion? Who wants authority? Who wants power? <laughs> okay? No. I want you guys to, you guys to know how to There 
There you go. Now, I want you to money. I want you with all the money. I want you to go like this. Okay? Just put it down. Just like that. There you go. <laughs> and I want you to help her. Okay? I want you to help her, but I want you to try your best. Too. Okay? Okay? Now, who do you think is going to win? Okay? Oh, you work! Get set! Go! Go! Go!